Yo, and welcome to this video. This video is just 25 simple and easy little tips for new players of Guild Wars 2. There might even be a few things that some older players might not even know about as well. So without further ado, I won't keep you waiting. Here are 25 in no particular order, simple, easy tips to help new players. There are several options of things that you can do with inside your bags. In your inventory, there's this cog called options, and you can do a bunch of things here like hide or show rarity, which will highlight the item. If you want, if you don't want it at all, you can have it off. I think it's really just easy to see the rarity of things with it on, so I like it on. You can also have it show new items. When you get new items, they will flash, so you can see what items are new in your inventory. Um, you can actually show your bags individually, if you like. Um, this requires more scrolling, and I don't really like it, so I don't usually do it. Um, and also, if you have a whole bunch of account slots, you can either embed it so it's all in one or separate it so that it's its own line. Personally, I like having my account on its own line. But yeah, mess around with your customs, mess, uh, mess around with how they are, set it to how you like it. When you're out adventuring, don't be afraid to kill monsters like random MOAs for extra experience. Enemies and creatures in Guild Wars 2 will gain a bonus experience for how long they exist in the map and you get bonus EXP for killing them. So don't be afraid to if you're leveling, it's worth it. If you open up a bunch of bags or openable items and you're worried about it getting full, you can close the inventory to stop it. This can help prevent you from filling your bags if that becomes a problem. Guild Wars 2 is very user friendly. They have a button right here for depositing materials. If you get a bunch of materials like this, you can always just press this to deposit all your materials. And what that does is it puts it near your bank. So if you go to anyone with the bank and you talk to them, you'll see your bank here like normal. If you click on these dots, it will show you your materials. And this is where all your materials are stored when you click deposit materials. Ideally, you, could, you go to a bank person, but it is not necessary. You could also access your bank from any profession table as well. You can have access to both your bank and your material storage. You don't even have to have training in it. Here I have max training. But over here, I don't. But I still have access to the bank and I still have access to the, to the materials. If you have a bunch of chests on the side, instead of manually left clicking like this every time to get your rewards, you can just right click and they'll instantly just go in. That can save you a lot of clicking. If you notice that there's a small little present icon on your black lion button, it means that something is for free in the gem store. Gotta love free stuff. Guild Wars 2 has a fantastic fan wiki that has all your questions that you could ever ask and an easy cool thing about guild wars is if you go type and enter backslash wiki and hit enter it will pop up the wiki in a window uh, either on another screen or on your main screen if you only have one this can be extremely helpful to get to the wiki but let's say you want to be even more specific if you want let's say you want to know exactly what you know, let's say you want to know what a Black Lion salvage kit is. You could type in wiki, then hold shift and click on the item, and it will post it directly in chat like this. Hit enter, and it will instantly pull up that item. Boom. And it will tell you everything you need to know from it. This is extremely helpful for pretty much everything in the game. It is a super, super useful tip. Slash wiki is your friend. Speaking about slash wiki, you can also, a very good slash wiki I recommend is slash wiki space ET, enter. ET stands for event timer, and that will pull up the event timers on the website. This is extremely useful for knowing when anything in the game basically is gonna be starting. This is your friend as well. Knowing when events are starting, where they are, it even has the link to all the waypoints, tells you how much longer it is until it starts. This is amazing. 
the event timer slash wiki et brings you right here. Very useful tip. If you go to your watch list of your currently watched achievements, you can actually move these around by click and drag to change the order they're in in your UI. This way you can prioritize and have them set up however you actually want them. A lot of people don't know about this. When you're leveling up your skills or your traits, instead of doing them one at a time, if you click on the last one, you can train them all at once as long as you have the skill points necessary. So instead of doing it one at a time, you can just do them all at once. This can save you some time and a lot of clicking instead of just doing it one at a time. If you hold down shift and right click on your mini map, you can actually draw. You can draw battle plans and, and what you plan to do, the things you want to get, you know, whichever direction you want to attack. Or, you know, you can draw things that you really shouldn't. The map has three separate layers. If you click here, you can see things from a top layer, which shows you which things are on the top. Surface layer, or the middle layer, which is the layer you're mostly on. And then underground. These things can help with figuring, finding waypoints and other points of interest when you're doing map stuff. If you have a stack of something and you want to have lesser stacks, you can hold Alt and move the item, and it will split it for you. It will always try to go in the middle, but you can adjust it to however many ways you want. When you're on land, you use your normal runes. But when the, when you go underwater, you use your aqua breather instead. And if your aqua breather doesn't have its rune in it, you'll lose your six rune bonus. It will go down to five out of six. So make sure you also get one additional rune of your set to put in your Aqua Breather. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of power when you go underwater. And that's no good. With a little practice, you can do a thing called a jump roll. Like that. It gives you a little extra distance that you wouldn't normally get with a normal jump. You don't really need it for most things unless you're doing Super Adventure Box, but it might help you doing some certain uh, jumping puzzles, or, you know, it's just cool to do. If you're level 80 and you click on your EXP bar, it will bring up your Masteries tab. If you click on it when you're below level 80, you'll see what upcoming rewards you'll get when you do level up. Let's say you have an alt character parked somewhere, and you don't really want to move them. But you want to put away some of the items they've been getting from all the farming they've done over the times. Well, something you can do is if you go to open up your PvP and enter the PvP lobby, you can go here and deposit your things in the bank, or do whatever you need to do, trading post, whatever you want to do. You can place your things in the bank, And then if you just decide to leave the lobby, you'll just be right where you left yourself, making it a lot easier to put things away without having to move your alt. If you're trying to do a map completion of a zone and you're missing something, if you open your map and you're in the actual map that you're trying to complete and you scroll over these icons, they'll glow on the map to show you where they are. This can be very helpful to figure out things you might be missing to help you get your actual map completion. Guild Wars 2 lets you exchange gold for gems or gems back into gold, but let's say you only want a specific amount. You can do the custom exchange down here and get exactly what you want. So let's say you only need 50. Boom, you can get exactly what you need for how much gold. When you're gaining experience to level up or to level up your masteries, don't forget to use a utility, a utility enhancement and some food. You get additional experience from kills while you have these, and this can make the leveling of your masteries or your normal levels much faster. So I'll never be afraid. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as you have one, you'll get more experience. A little bit pays off in the long run. 
when you're completing hearts or pretty much just engaging with anything uh, instead of waiting for the whole cast bar to finish you can save a lot of time by simply swapping weapons in the middle of the channel so while you're channeling it just swap weapons and move on to the next one the moment you press F on the item you instantly get credit so you can just swap out to the next one watch how fast I am by swapping my weapons you don't have to wait for that whole entire channel each time just F swap a lot of people don't know this like that person has a legendary weapon and I don't even think they're doing it yeah you can just press F swap and this works on almost every heart in the game anytime you have a long channel know that if you just weapon swap you don't have to do the whole channel Guild Wars has a ton of different currencies and keys and a bunch of other things that would fill up your bag slots horribly if they did that to you. They have a thing called your wallet which you can click on and you can display all your different other currencies and keys all here. When a character is created, they have a waypoint in every starting area, at least one. So we have one here for the human area. We have one here if you wanted to go hang out with the Silvari. We have one here if you want to go do the Asura. We have one way over here if you want to do the Norn. And we have one right here if you want to do the Char. So you can go anywhere. Right in the beginning of the game, you can choose where you want to start. And if you and your friend have different races, after you do your opening tutorial area, you can just waypoint to wherever you want to go. Here's a little secret that a lot of people don't know. Let's say this is all fine and navigating the auction house like this is, is fine. But let's say you want to see more information and less of the artwork. You just, want the, you just want the raw information. Well, if you go into the search menu and type in exactly like this, type in I am Evan Nashley just like that boom now look at the auction house it shrinks the icon but you can get way more items this will stay this way even if you log out even if you exit the client the auction house will stay like this until you type it in again or you wait until a patch so if you're tired of looking at it like this and you actually want the big icons again, just go back and type it yet again. Exactly like this, capital I am Evan Nashblade. And it'll turn it back to normal. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you're a new player, I hope some of these tips helped you. And if you're a veteran player, maybe you learned something new. Thanks for all the recent likes, comments, and subscribes. The channel has gotten a lot of love lately, and I really appreciate it, so thank you guys so much. I'll catch you all in the next video. Till then, stay super!